Morning. Morning. It is yeah. Friday the 2nd. This is my work phone. That is Batman. Batman is the best. Thor's pretty cool as well. Oh. Right. I've been busy doing a TikTok thing, so we're a bit far behind. But I'm doing like a TikTok recipe. Oh. Let's get... I'm so hungry for my pancakes, guys. So hungry for pancakes. Right, I'm going to be filming for, uh, t for TikTok as well, so sorry. Put your water in your bowl. The measurements are on the package. Mix it up. Hi, my name's Jack, and I am making pancakes at 6.30 in the morning, because I'm a mentalist. But well, that is good batter, that. That's what the consistency looks to look like. Gloopy. Gloopy. Heat your pan on a medium heat. I'm also going to put a bit of this in. Flavouring. TikTok don't need to know. YouTube can know. Put some vanilla flavouring, guys. Class. You could put some whey in it if you wanted to. I don't know what that do to the texture, but it'll make it slightly drier. Already melted my PB. Chop up your bananas. In the bin they go. Melt your sauces. Dooby 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 doo. I'll do. I don't fancy Ultra Rosa. Can you believe it? Jack doesn't fancy Ultra Rosa. Oh no, I do fancy it. That one to like that. What a bit of self restraint. I can handle it. Why am I keep looking at that? There's nothing in there. And my microphone's not even on. Now it's on. So that was just pointless. Put some bananas on it. Banana pancake. I'm gonna do one flip because then your boy needs to crack on. Can you believe it? I'm 30 and I'm making videos. I love it really. Plus I work full time, so. I've got a boss ass job, bruh. For those wondering what I do for work, I'm an asset manager. I work in a rent and feed department for an asset, for a real estate investment trust. And I deal basically, I bring value to a portfolio through trying to get as much rent as possible. Essentially, I love it. I will probably branch over to like maybe fund management or something when I'm older, well, when I can do it. But right now, I'm loving my job. Ooh, have you, oh my God, I'm in a mess. Have you seen veins like this on a bunk? You have me. You have me. This is probably my favorite flavor right now for Perform. It's unreal. Use my code, Jack Teats. It's your lot of percentage off. Probably the cheapest in the country. Raja white chocolate, unreal guys, extremely good. Right, it's starting to bubble. One more minute, then we both, then we go. And what I might do is I might put you over there and I'll just do you some do some flips in between. But this is taking ages. You can see some little bubbles occurring, so this is time to flip. Oh! Oh, <laughs> yeah, boy. Lovely stuff. All right, guys, I'll do the occasional flip. Speak to you all soon. Oh, yeah. Stop that. No. Mm. Nothing goes to waste. Just look at the state of that. Absolute glory hole of a mess. I don't know why I said glory hole of a mess. Oh, let's go. Can't wait for this meal. Genuinely, cannot wait. But I fancy watching a bit of TV, so if I don't talk much, I don't talk much. Let's go. First bite, where are we doing the first bite? Here we go. Bon appetit. Oh, 
Oh, so good, guys. Um, yum. I fancy watching TV, so I'm going to put you on time lapse. Matey. This is one big ass start to the day. I go for a walk after this, and after, come back for some more, but purely PB and J. I've only back first. Then I'll hit the gym, come back, get changed, and then we've got the uh, pancake challenge. Oh, right, time up to go. Such a ass, don't it? Absolute such a ass. I don't know if you can hear this, but it's just not weird. I just watched that video back and that's the most pointless video I've ever done in my life. Just all wind. Anyway, it's February now and uh, hopefully in April we'll get some nice early mornings. The sun will be out and the, and the, the wind's back and I can't hear a thing. It's an everyday, uh, it's an everyday, it's an everyday thing guys. On the bike, get my steps in, 30,000 steps a day, an hour and a half of the bike a day, get it done. That's how you stay lean. Don't skip your cardio, I'm gonna talk about that later. Don't skip your cardio. Right, 45 minutes done. Now I'm gonna go have a shower, Can we make some more pancakes. 500 grams, light work again. Right, let's go. I've got some good mill of water in here, and I need to heat this up. Woo! Well, this morning's breakfast was beautiful, but now we've got peanut butter and jam. There we go. Now I need some good mill of water into here. We've got 500 grams. Huh. Lovely stuff. Mm. Raw pancake mix. Lovely. It's actually so nice. Oh. All right. I've got my melted peanut butter in here. Need to heat this up. Don't want to get, to get too hot. Ugh. Um, 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 I need a ladle or something. I have a ladle somewhere, but I don't know where it is. All my supplements. Oh, here it is. I should have used this this morning, but I didn't. Because I'm a fool, I'll just use a spear. I was too tired this morning to think about it, if I'm being completely honest. I'm making quite big. Now, um, right, while that's cooking, when am I planning to do a cut? When I can be asked, you don't really need to plan a cut. You plan a cut when your bulk is over and you know your bulk is over, when one, you're either plateauing too much, two, the food that's going in is just skewing more to fat gain than anything, than muscle gain. Three, you've got literally like no appetite left. So right now, everything's firing, so I don't need to cut. I don't know, maybe like April, May time, don't know. Do I get calluses from all the walking? Yes, my feet are absolutely chapped to buggery. Uh, cardio, I do cardio before in the morning and after after my lift. What kind of uh, ice cream to put my cookie bowls? I normally put fish food in. Fish food is the best Ben and Jerry's you can get by far. Right, who's ready for a flip? Who's ready for a flip? You ready for a flip? Ready for a flip? Oh no, that was so bad, Jack. That was like awful. That was awful. So, so bad. So bad. Beggars can't be choosers up. It's gonna taste delicious. How would you go about to taking calories back to maintenance post cut? Exactly that. Take them back to maintenance. How many steps do we do on average per day? 30,000. I've probably answered that about a billion times. <laughs> uh, do I take diet? No, I don't. Vitamins for digestion, liver, no. Best food for cheap carbs. 
You know it, oats, cereals, crumpets. What's my cycle? Spin bike. Top three monsters. The white is the second. The Ultra Rosa is my all-time all -time favorite. Then it has to be uh, Peachy Keen, Ultra Peachy Keen. That is one done. Eeh. I'll answer a couple more questions and then you'll see me eat. I'm going to I'm fancy watching South Park because South Park's sick. How far do I walk to do 30,000 steps a day? And it's a similar route. It's the same route twice a day and I walk to the gym and back. Uh, it's probably about 13 miles a day. I don't track my calories bur bulking. I don't track my calories on my cardio. It's just overkill. After my insane cheat days, how much do my weight fluctuate, fluctuate typically by? I know five pounds and it goes back to normal within a day or two. I wouldn't, I will not be doing food competitions. Favorite walking shoes are ah, Adidas NMDs. They're the ones I use. So easy. I do not run. I do not run. That's a question. Do I ever run? No. Running takes way more out of you. So there's no point in running. Honestly, no point in running. What's the go-to slice? I'm, a, I'm sorry, it's a margarita sometimes with some extra cheese, maybe with a bit of ham on top. Ham and pineapple's good sometimes. What do I use to track my steps? An app called Pacer. That's what I use. What's my meal deal choice? I'm not gonna lie, guys, I've not had a meal deal. I, I, I don't even know. I, I don't think I've probably ever had a meal deal. Oh, that is just sublime. Right, guys, on that note, I'm gonna make the rest of these and then I'll see you when I'm sat down having some food. Oh, look at the state of that, guys. Unreal. Peanut butter and jam pancakes with some blue recon pot. This looks unreal. Can't wait to go eat it. Let's go watch some South Park. Let's go. What the f is this? Right. Spoon, fork. Let's eat some of this to get rid of it. To get rid of some of it. I need a drink. Oh, yeah. Oh, so good. Love me some H2Os. There's so much. Uh, right, I'm gonna do a, a yum, then we're gonna eat. Oh, should've got fork. Oh well, we can make do with that. CBA moving now. Oh, oh wow. Oh, pancakes are so good. Yum. Oh, so good, guys. Mm. Oh, I've made a fucking mess. Mm. People say I burn my pancakes. No, they're actually still so moist and gooey and fluffy and oh, crusties. And I'll say it again, I said it this morning. The best home stuff you can get by far. You can't get better. The pan homemade pancake mix. Unreal. And I'm sticking to American style pancakes. I can't be out having a crepe. Mm. Mm. Right, I'm gonna watch some uh, family, uh, family Guy at South Park. This is unreal. Next episode. Life is such snacks for Jack. <laughs> <coughs> right, I'm gonna go to the gym soon and then I'll come back and then we got that pancake challenge at Farmhouse. 
I'm gonna make some savory pancakes tonight, I think. Uh, apparently you can make some kimchi pancakes with this pancake mix. <laughs> so that is what I'll do. Peace. I'm gonna carry on watching this. Tiddy dance. Beans. Beans. That was a warm up. Right, I'm on a deload today. Well, this week. And what is a deload? So, a deload should be incorporated in any bodybuilding sort of program after a certain point. And a deload is essentially just recovering your body and recovering from an intense period of eight to 10 weeks or sometimes six weeks. But why do you need a deload? What is the point in a deload? So if you take your body, specifically your CNS, your central nervous system, and you basically, there's an analogy of using it as a um, bank. So if your central nervous system is the bank and every time you train or every time you do some exercise, every time you train or every time you do some exercise, you are withdrawing from the bank. You are taking something away from the central nervous system. And when you rest, you are giving back. Your training is like borrowing from the bank. And when you rest, you're giving back, you're putting back in. So if you're training hard enough, your recovery will not be enough to give back to the bank. So over time, you'll see it in the central nervous system, the amount in the bank will reduce. And that will mean that at some point, you will need to take a period of time off or a deload to basically recover, give back to the bank and replenish that bank. And that is the point of the deload. You are still training, but you're not training to the level of intensity, but you're allowing your body to recover to some degree. <sighs> Pure gins. Um, so that's the point of the deload. How do you do a deload? Normally it's, if you're doing five, six sessions a week, you'll reduce it to about four sessions a week or for the week. And we reduce, instead of going for your 100% progressive overload you're basically going for more like pump 70 percent uh for more reps and that's it you only really get, you, you, you might be doing 70 percent of the sets and 70 percent of the load that you normally do and you do that for a week and if not just go on holiday have a good week off that's another point that's another deload having an entire break i'm having a deload this week because i can sense my body is in a state of fatigue I'm holding more water. I've got my, it's, my body takes longer to recover. I've got more aches. So I'm, I'm taking a deload this week and in a month's time, just over a month, I'm going skiing. And that'll be an entire week off from the gym and that'll do me a load of good, even from steps, because you can't really get many steps out in, the, out in the Rockies in Canada. So for me, that'll be a good, good time to deload, rest up and get back to it. One more warm up. I hate your gyms. Get me a car. If someone wants to buy me a car, DM me. Oh, right, now to add some load. Now, if you're a strong bastard like me, or you're a strong man like me, this useful tool will get you places and will allow you to still progressively overload when you're in a shite gym like this, like, sh like pure gym, pure shite. This thing is called a gym pin. Might look a bit weird, but it is an amazing tool to still progressively overload in the gym. All you do is put it in and it acts like another pin. And it allows you to, once you've full stacked it, which I can full stack, thank you very much, I'll take a bow. Um, once you full stack it, it allows you to still progressively overload and go over that barrier of maxing out a machine and using plates on that pin. Because as you can see, it's a girthy mofo and it can allow you to have a pin. So I think I've got a link to this. Uh, use my code Jack Teats. I think you get 10% off, but these things are really, really useful. If you're strong like me, like any, <laughs> no, if you, if you manage to kind of max out any sort of machine, use this and it'll keep, allow you to keep progressively overloading within kind of a gym like this where sometimes you're a bit uh, kind of stuck for choice. Normally I go for 20 kilos, but today as it's deload, I'm not. Right, 
Let's go. As you can see, I didn't go to failure there. I just went to a point where it felt good. That is the whole point of a deload. You don't want to go to failure, 70% of the load, get a pump, just come in, get yourself a nice little pump, and that's it. Allow your body to rest, because rest is where you grow. And yeah, it's all, it's all well and good coming in and progressively overloading every single week, but there will come a point where you need to take some rest. I hate your gym. So before that set, I read a text saying, speaking to some follower saying, oh, I bet you're proud of your body. And I was like, yeah, I'm pretty proud. So like, if I had your physique, I'd be really, really happy. I was like, yeah, until he got my physique and then he wants to have more. He's like, what do you mean? This is where it gets onto like body dysmorphia and all that sort of stuff. Everyone suffers from body dysmorphia, everyone. You're not gonna go through life, you're not gonna go into the gym and not suffer from body dysmorphia, I'm sorry. As soon as you enter that gym, you are forever small. <laughs> You will never be as big as your pump, but that doesn't mean that you can be proud, that you're not proud of your physique. Of course I'm proud of my physique. I'm proud of the 12 years of graft that I've put in. I'm proud of the work that I've put in, the consistency, the sacrifices, the discipline that I've done. But does that mean there's days where I'm not happy? There's days where I feel a bit watery and a bit flat and I'm like, oh, I look like shit. Of course there's days. Everyone, everyone suffers from that. But that doesn't mean you need to be, that you are doing something wrong. Weight fluctuates, water fluctuates, it's, it's a normal thing. Be proud of your physique, but you'll never be satisfied. But that, that lack of satisfaction will mean that you will always be striving for more. And that's what we want in life. We always want more, we always want to be better. So use that fuel to want to be better at something. Be proud, but never be satisfied. Time for pancakes. I always get lost. I never know where Farmhouse is. Where is it? down here, down this road somewhere. Uh, oh, got it. I'll do a walk in. Yeah. Hiya, I've got uh, that challenge. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Awesome. Yeah, Perfect. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, lightest of snacks for Jack. Oh wow! Anything else? No, just wish Perfect. me luck. Perfect. Good luck. Thank you very much. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> we are starting. I'm at Farmhouse today uh, in Leeds. I'm taking on their challenge of 20 pancakes. I've got 20 pancakes. What? 10 pancakes here. A lemon meringue. 10 stack here. I've got all my sauces. I've got some berries. White chocolate. Well, is that a pink white chocolate? And that's a white chocolate maple syrup. God knows what's in this, but wish me luck. Oh no, making a mess. Are you ready for a yum? You ready for a yum? It's all just happening together, I'd say. It pretty much is. <laughs> Let's have a bit of this. Good. Yum. <laughs> yum. No. I get half an hour. Light as a snacks for Jack. Never ha I've not actually had lemon rank in years. So let's see. Bit of compote, why not? Strawberry for health. Eddie do. Here's why you shouldn't eat fruit. Oh, come on. Oh. I'm not gonna lie, the lemon meringue is making you feel a bit sick. Too much. Oh.
Oh. It's the um it's the lemon curd. I don't like lemon curd. I just know that this is not gonna be nice. <laughs> No, I don't feel sick. I do, I do feel sick, but not because I'm full. It's the lemon curd. Oh, it's the lemon curd. I'm not actually that full. It's just... So, it's so sickly. Yeah, it's, a, it, it's oh. a sweet one. I think oh. they double layered you lemon curd too. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's more fruit. It's wrong. Oh. <laughs> Done. Oh, give me a minute. Ooh. Oh, lemon curd is not my go-to. Oh, but no, 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 don't worry. That was a challenge. It was a challenge. Oh, I did it. Twenty pancakes done. Oh, thank you so much, guys. Lightest of snacks for Jack. Right, guys, that was it. I'm gonna go. Oh. 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 Right guys, I'm gonna go. Thank you very much. Peace. Oh my god, that lemon curd. Oh, I'm not even that full. I'm not even that full. But that lemon curd was seriously sickly. Three pancakes into that, and I was like, oh my god, this is a mission. But they don't call it a challenge for nothing. Amazing pancakes, honestly, the best in Leeds. Definitely go down there if you if you live in Leeds in farm farmhouse or they do one in Harrogate, go to Harrogate but really good. Well, I'm going to be going home now, but I'm going to go on a walk first, go home, and then probably around about seven-ish, half seven, I'm going to have some kimchi pancakes. Got the kimchi, and then some more pancakes this evening, if I'm up for it, but we'll see. Feel fine. Pancakes are lovely. Can't wait for a bit of savoury, a bit of salt. Chicken and kimchi pancakes. And then, her, and then yeah, Woo, that was tough. Oh, kimchi pancakes. I need some savory in my life. Got my kimchi. Got my pancakes. And I've got some chicken in there. Right, got that. Let's warm this pan up. On a medium here. Oh, I need that lemon curd. I like a bit of lemon curd, guys. But wow. 200 grams. I'll do two or three. Right, kimchi. Here we go. A little bit of editing there for you guys. I need 270 ml of water. Let's get my kimchi. I'm just gonna kind of absolutely just guess this. If you don't like kimchi, learn to like it. It's amazing for your gut. It's a bit spicy if you like your spice. Chicken, kimchi, rice. Unreal. Mmm. All right. That's mixed. Oh, I need a bit more water. Apparently need a bit of salt. What else is good for your gut? Lots of stuff is good for your gut. Greek yogurt, so I go with Faye Greek yogurt. Faye Greek yogurt. Oh guys, that's so good. I'm definitely gonna do a uh, recipe on this for you guys. Anyway, for you guys, it's literally just kimchi. I got it from Costco, I think you can get something like I think you can get some at Mark, um, Morrison's uh, or Amazon. Kimchi, crust cheese, and um, some salt. That's it. I think you can have some kimchi juice, but I don't know where to get that. 200 grams of, yeah, 300 grams of 
But if you've already cooked your chicken, guys, you, it's no longer the weight that you had it when you raw. You always weigh raw chicken, potatoes, all that sort of stuff. However, once it's cooked, it changes weight. So if you wanted 300 grams of chicken, you need to then, it's probably about 260 grams or 240 grams cooked weight because the water goes. So I've got 240 grams there. I bought myself some red peppers as well. Warm that up. These are almost ready for a flip. Put that away. Oh, what's the time? But I need to reply to this. Important biz. Business! Da -da -da, right. Mm. Oh. That's just a beautiful looking pancake. Cook your meat in bulk, guys. Cook your meat in bulk. And then it's done. Guys, wow, so nice. So the other day I did a, um, on Sunday, I was down in London, and I did a pizza challenge. You will pop, this will probably already be out. This won't be out by the time this video comes out, uh, unfortunately, but I did a pizza challenge with my brother and my editor extraordinaire. Hello, Aaron. And um, I don't want to spoil anything. What? I'm going back. Aaron, keep a weekend in April free because we're going to go back and your boy's going to beat it. I need as much sodium as possible because your boy. And uh, guys, I'm going to be using ketchup and I'm going to be using mayo. So don't at me. I'm going to get the table set up. Oh. <laughs> I'm so weird. Jack is a weirdo. No wonder you're single and your mum and dad don't love you. I'm joking, they love me very much. Oh, that's a bit burnt. Jackie! You can't have enough kimchi! One huge one! I'm a good little housewife, me. I'm a good little housewife. I'd be, I'd be an amazing radio presenter, me. Just give me a mic. I can talk a lot of pesh. Right. I'm gonna hide that bite. I don't wanna annoy people. Oh, that is, that is lovely stuff. Let's go. Can't wait for this. I need them. I still have the taste of lemon curd in my mouth. So this is very much needed. Right. Bit of chicken. Kimchi pancake. Soya sauce. Yum. Ah, oh, exactly what I needed. And don't at me. Bit of mayo. Let's go. Oh, so needed. I'm saving these to last. It's the best part of the whole thing. Mm. I'll be a bit pancaked out after today, but. a good one. Oh, so good. Oh, yum. Oh, I know. Yum, yum, yum.
this was the most needed meal up today. Oh. Right, I'm going to chill out for a bit, do the dishes, because I'm a good house husband, and then chill out, and we've got a final meal, I'm going to tell them banana pancakes with cookies. I've gone with creme cookies this evening, and uh, on that note, peace, see you all soon. I don't want to move, wait. And here we go. <sighs> final time, 400 grams. I need 525. Final time, the bit pancaked out now, yeah, guys. I'm going back to my favorite, the Teller Banana with some cookies. I'm gonna heat them up. Oh. Oh. Right, those savory pancakes were a godsend. If you're interested, I'll drop the recipe. Well, actually, I've pretty much done the recipe anyway, so. Oh, I'm a bit tired, sorry. Bit sick of pancakes right now. I'm not gonna do much filming. I'm gonna put you on time lapse and then I'll. I need my trusty spatula. Oh, right. It's been a good day. But I'm a bit pancaked out, if you can't tell. I don't want lemon curd again. Oh, Tip me over the edge. And kimchi pancakes, the savoury, really did help. But yeah, other than that, it's been a nice day. I've enjoyed it. But I'm going to put you on time lapse because I fancy watching some TV, if I'm being completely honest, and eating my cookies in peace. We talked while we were eating my kimchi pancakes, and now Jack Teats wants to be, <laughs> wants to be left alone. Yeah. Mm. Put a couple of bananas in there. I'll do a flip. You gotta do a flip for the for the gram. Put a couple of bloobs. Now I'm gonna put this in here. Heat up my mouth. Thanks. In here for now. And after this, I'm gonna chill out and go to bed. It's been a successful day, but next week we do something, well not next week, the week after we do something even better. For my birthday, for my 30th, and if anyone else is feeling scared about turning whatever age you are, if you're 18, you're turning, you're close to turning 30 to 20, and you're worried about where you're going in life, don't. Because whatever happens in life, you'll be absolutely fine, guys. You'll be absolutely fine. Enjoy your life, don't. If your friends are rushing it, don't rush it. They're probably not rushing it in their eyes. They're going at a pace that they feel comfortable with. Jack Teats, don't rush your life. Focus on improving. Focus on seeing the world. Travel. Pub. Right, the bubbles are starting. Let's go. I'm not going to flip, I can't be bothered, we're just going to do a classic. I actually cannot wait for this. So, white chocolate miso cookie drenched in stuff, but up a tea. Mm. Yum! Oh, it's so good. Ah, oh. I'm oh, hot as well. Mm. Wow, so, so good. Yeah. But I'll give you a yum for the, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. This is a banana dark chocolate by Creme. I've gone with Creme this evening. Bon appetit. Mm -hmm. Yum, so, so good guys. Oh, if you're ever in London, go to Soho. Creme, unreal. Right, uh, 
I don't want this. But, Mama didn't raise, no, I do want this. Mama didn't raise my puss puss, so we're gonna get it done, but I'm gonna watch some TV. Great success. Oh, that is a pancake day. Did I enjoy it? Yes. Do I want pancakes again? Not for a while, not gonna lie. Maybe about a week. Actually, I'm off for pancakes with Phil on the 11th. Right, well. Well, maybe. Anyway, this has been a good pancake day. Thank you very much. My name's Jack Teets. Subscribe, like, and all that shit. <laughs> <sighs>